Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are bugs and how do we manage bugs in Azure DevOps. Okay, in one of my previous videos, I made a topic regarding work items. So, in work items, we discussed about different work item types um, like task, epic, feature, user story, bug, etc. Right, so in that, we'll discuss something about bug in detail. Okay, when something is not working as expected in your software requirement you be usually raise a bug usually testers raise a bug um, to deal with the glitches in the software requirements and the expected behavior so here we can uh, create bugs in many ways let's discuss about few ways and how we can actually create and manage those all right so if you go to uh, the boards we can select the work items so in your work items if you can see there is an option called new work item the first option is bug so once you select that so this is the ui of a uh, of a bug creation page so you can just uh, uh, create a bug and assign it to a particular person for example let's say i am working on a uh, gift voucher related payment requirement so I wanted to test if the uh, gift voucher is working properly or not but I found that gift voucher text is not editable okay so gift voucher text box is not editable so I'm gonna raise a bug for that let's say I will add a subject called GV which denotes, denotes, which denotes gift voucher and um, text box not editable okay or else you can give anything meaningful according to your bug and then you can actually assign it to a concerned person add a tag if at all there is one or if you want to create a new tag also i'm fine and then uh, so as soon as this bug is ready um, uh, it will go into currently it will be in new state so once the developer start working on it it will move into active state and once it, it is fixed it will again move to um, fixed state and all okay so there are many other state which will vary according to the uh, methodology you are working on for example if you are working on agile if you are working on scrum if you are following a cmmi process the uh, state might vary but for now let's let's have it as new we can just change that state later all right and then you can and uh, assign the remaining fields whichever are a common across all the work item types for example you can change the area iteration uh, priority and and the other stuffs but there are few fields which are very specific to bug okay for example if you see we have a repro steps repro steps means steps to reproduce in steps to reproduce we need to give a detailed information about how and how to um, how where to reproduce the bug okay um so that the developer or any other concerned person who are looking into the bug actually understand what the issue actually is okay so let's give some steps for now let's say um go to xyz.com okay and then um enter a gift voucher code in payments page okay. gift voucher text box is not editable okay so now i'm just giving the steps to reproduce and um, you can also give the ex actual behavior and expected behavior also you can add um, what is the actual behavior actual behavior is gift voucher text box is not editable expected behavior we 
next two box should be editable and redeemed on clicking apply button okay so now there is something called system info okay when you create this bug through a testing tool the system info will automatically come but uh, if you wanna specify the system info configurations like os browser browser version all those stuffs you can uh, provide okay for example let's say chrome 60 some some random version for now i'm not sure about the exact version but you can provide the exact details of the system info from your actual requirement okay and then if you note there is something called priority which is actually uh, default for all the uh, work item types but you can see there is something called severity in bug okay severity ref by default it will be three which is the medium severity severity is the impact that it can make to the business okay so based on that you can actually make those changes you can make this to uh, high or make this to critical okay i am assuming this gift voucher text box is not editable which is a very high critical one for me because my payments page my payment activity activity with regards to gift voucher is completely blocked okay so no so i will not be able to make any payment with gift voucher at all now okay so considering that as critical i am just making the severity to critical okay and then rest of uh, usual steps okay i am gonna save this yeah now you can see the the bug is actually created okay so this is one simpler way in which you can create a bug and assign it to a particular person or a developer and then you have multiple stages you can um, as a developer you can change it to active state uh, to indigo indicate that you have started working on it and uh, once the uh, you have resolved the bug you can change it to resolved state and then you can um, once and you can assign it to a concerned person so once you are happy with all those steps you can actually close this okay so this this is a simple bug work life cycle okay so this i showed you how you can access the work bug from the work items page all right so now if you go to boards okay in boards uh, let's go to any of the requirement let's say um, this is a gift also okay let me read the title for now let's say the, assume this is a gift voucher uh, user story now i am uh, facing some issues again with gift voucher when i am whenever i am dealing with uh, gift vouchers in the payment page so i i can add a bug from here as well okay so here um gift voucher not redeemable so now if i open this bug okay i have created this bug through that boards right so now i am gonna fill this um no, as i did earlier okay assume that um, now if you uh, assume that we can reuse the same steps to reproduce from my previous bug okay so that doesn't matter all i am intending is to show you how this bug actually works okay so you can give the steps to reproduce and uh, and other details with regarding to your bug okay so this is another way in which you can create a bug and one thing you can notice we have an option to create a test okay so if you go to this test let's say um, redeem gift voucher okay there is a separate topic called test plan and testing we haven't touched that uh, as of now Test plan is again a wide topic which i will make few videos in my in in my in future but for now let's understand a very high level of test okay so i am adding a test called redeem gv so this is kind of a test case okay so i will give me 
I will give what uh, the detail steps. Okay, so go to xyz dot com. xyz dot com. Why should be displayed? Enter. Give voucher in payments page and. Apply. Gift voucher should be redeemed to its active place. Okay, so uh, assume this is my um, steps in my test case. Okay, and then what else can I give? Yeah, that's all. So I'm just gonna save this. So once I I will close this now if I go here right there is an option called you can either run the test remove test pass the test fail test block it not applicable and do exploration testing okay you can do lot of other steps as well so consider this is a test case that I am planning to run for this particular user story what I can do is I can run this test my intention is not to give you details about test plan but i will show you how to create a bug okay as soon as i hit the run test okay it went to my runner test plans tab and it, it showed me the details of the test okay the the steps and the expected result here there is an option to create a bug for example something is not working as expected as per your test case what you do is you just create a bug here create a bug Unable to apply give to voucher, okay. And I must need to some person save and close, okay. So, this way I can create a bug and associate it with the test case, okay. So, I, again, I'm gonna close this. So now, if you go here. Can see this test is actually if you go to the links you can see I have linked it to a uh, bug here okay which is with regards to test case and you can also see it is associated with this user story okay these are different ways in which you can actually uh, create bugs and manage bugs okay um, you can still do more things with bugs we will discuss a few more uh, processes and steps in our upcoming videos but this is what I want to cover as part of the uh, manage bug session in this uh, tutorial if you have any uh, questions please let me know in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you